Often I get told I don't review enough brake barrels and I don't review enough really, really budget stuff. Well, apart from the simple fact of the matter is, I review what comes out and what is available, which in these current times is restricted due to the global pandemic. So this week, even with the global pandemic hitting, Rothery and Umarex have sent through a budget brake barrel to tick two boxes in one go. The Umarex UX Cyrix. <laughs> Hello and welcome to AAR On Air. This week it's budget brake barrel time. And when I say budget, I mean low cost and yet still full power. Oh, and it comes as a package too. Let's start by taking a look at this little budget gas ram. It is all black and, as you would expect, mostly polymer rather than some expensive Italian walnut or laminated stock. This is a serviceable throw around and don't worry too much about air rifle. It is 1160mm long or 45.7 inches, has a 481mm or 18.9 inch barrel and weighs in at a solid 4 kilograms or about 8.8 .8 pounds. From the front then, the first thing you notice is there is no silencer or moderator fitted. A point which had me wondering about high noise levels. But I can tell you that even without a silencer, this is surprisingly quiet. Really surprisingly so. It does have what you could consider to be a muzzle brake of sorts, which carries the front open fibre optic sights, which is non-adjustable. This is a 177 calibre and it's the only calibre they are currently making it in. But there is an interesting twist to this that we'll look at a little later. Moving back to the rear sights, these are again open and fibre optic and adjustable for both windage and elevation. I say windage, but to adjust this is a simple unscrew the retaining screw and slide left or right. So more of an initial setup than a true windage adjustment. The elevation on the other hand is a true click wheel. So, a proper elevation adjuster. Now, all this talk of open sights is, I suppose, a little irrelevant because this is a kit and comes supplied with a 4 by 32 scope and mounts, making the open sights somewhat redundant in most cases, unless, of course, you like your open sight shooting. At this point, I feel I should add my only gripe into the mix here the optics. I spend a lot of my time these days dealing with optics, not only scopes, but camera lenses, etc. And probably the best thing I feel I can say about this is adequate. Most of you know I don't like to call things. It's not very productive, but I am here to review and review honestly. And the scope is adequate. I was really surprised about this rifle and its ability and finish etc. So much so that I feel it deserves and would benefit greatly from some better glass. You don't need to go mad, just give it a better chance to prove itself. So later on I'm going to change the scope for a top quality budget option and we will hopefully see the difference. Anyway, back to the rifle. The stock is all black polymer and often they say polymer and it's really a posh word for some cheap plastic. But in this instance, it feels really high quality. Now, I wasn't expecting too much to be fair when I first heard of this, but I am very, very pleasantly surprised. It is solid and chunky with no twisting or poor fitting. It's snug and tight and feels way more expensive than it actually is. Sometimes it's really difficult to get a feeling over on a review, but this does feel solid and capable and not overly front heavy as these budget rifles often are. 
the stock is ambidextrous so another plus and it's finished off with a rubberized butt pad for comfort the grip is textured and ribbed and so is the forestock which means even in wet weather you're not going to slip the trigger is a quite simple single action i wouldn't try to claim it is a match grade or any such thing but it is very usable and i have no complaints about it the safety is also built into the trigger guard and automatically resets itself into safe when you cock it and as most of you know anything which reverts to safe gets a plus in my books so power levels this is where it gets interesting because this is a 177 caliber and as such most people buy this type of gun for a bit of pest control and often prefer 0.22 naturally the 22 gives a heavier hit than a 177 but loses that flatter trajectory but this little budget rifle in its 177 caliber actually performs better with some heavier pellets by heavier i mean it likes the jsbs in either heavy 10.34 grains or the monsters at 13.43 grain at this weight you're into lighter 22 pellet weight and of course you could even push the boat out up to the beast jsbs which are a thumping 16.2 grains oh blimey Putting it over the chrono, it saw 775 feet per second with 8.44 grain, 705 feet per second with 10.34 grain, and 615 feet per second with 13.43 grain, giving a foot poundage of 11.28 or 15.3 joules. More than enough for what this gun will be used for mostly, which will be a bit of pest control. And with it liking the heavier pellets, you have to ask yourself, do you really need a 2.2 version anyway? Seems like a win-win to me. So, can we hit anything with this? Well, I'm a non-brake barrel shooter. I always find these a bit of an exciting challenge. First up, 40 meter range using the supplied 4x32 kit scope. At this point, I'm going to look a little closer at this included scope. You see, it has budget optics. And whilst it is better than using the open sights and would be more than adequate for close rat work or the like, shooting out at 40 meters is a bit of a stretch to say the least. The image blurs around the edge and is really a get you started kind of optic and is mostly plastic and will suffer from parallax error again affecting accuracy so with a little help from the guys at vector air i fitted a three to nine by 50 fast mount scope from hawk a very nice budget scope vector are actually doing this rifle as a package with the upgraded scope option and to me it's worth the extra money and the rifle deserves better optics now Let's do the same 40 metre test, this time with the Hawk scope fitted. Better, not only in results, but in pleasure of using this package too. There is a world of difference. Now, with this scope fitted, to me, it is the kit it is capable of being. And still, what I would class as a budget kit. With the standard included kit scope, this comes in at around £140. And as the package with the high quality Hawk Optics, £189. The difference in price transforms this budget gas round without breaking the bank 
either. I must admit, when this was first sent to me, I wasn't expecting much. With a little swapping around, this becomes a really good budget workhorse for pest control for less than £190 UK. I wouldn't make a bad little target rifle either. You know, for a non-brake barrel man, I've actually enjoyed this one. And like anyone else, we all like a bargain, don't we? As always, hopefully you've enjoyed this review. If you have, please give us the old thumbs up, subscribe. And of course, hit the old alarm bell to be notified when the next review comes out. We have a whole host of places to visit for you here. I should keep you busy for quite a while. Thanks again to Vector Air for the loan of this rifle and scope combo. Uh, with the help from these guys, there are some amazing guns currently being reviewed that you're going to be blown away with. I know I was. Which have left us all grinning like silly school children. <laughs> Sadly, still sworn to secrecy at the moment, though, which is killing me. Hopefully, I'll see you next week. For now, stay safe and shoot safe. And thank you so much for watching.